I wanted it at the time, but now I think it might be one of, I still like 
right now this one is freaking awesome <laughs> I got this one in Animate as well I think the Animate and Aki Opera Which of course is where all of the weeps go uh, For all of the fabulous anime shops But... <laughs> it's <laughs> MHA Animals <laughs> Or... My Hero Academia Animals <laughs> I thought this was so freaking funny when I saw it <laughs> So if you can see here We have, let me fold it up We have Deku Deku Sheep <laughs> Very fitting uh, Just with his disposition and his big head of hair I love that he's still got his tennis shoes on Very sweet And right underneath him we have Todoroki cat <laughs> I love the fire on his tail Might goat. <laughs> I do like that it's um, not like the big muscular superhero version of All Might, but him in his sort of, uh, for lack of a nicer phrase, his decrepit form. little chihuahua. How fitting. I've seen uh, people make fan art of Bakugo as a Pomeranian, which I do think is a bit more fitting given his hair. His big, like, spiky hair. But God, the chihuahua energy just runs so strong in him, too. And I just absolutely <laughs> adore this. I wish they had more merch of I 
plastic, uh, just plastic packaging, and just looking at it, it looked like it would be really soft and floofy, and it's not. <laughs> I mean, I guess I didn't expect it to be like really well made or anything, but it feels a lot, the material feels a lot cheaper than it looked, which is disappointing. Sure that we don't use any of the embroidered side on your face. 
Tokyo, I think, on my like very last day. But uh, it's like the new theme of Kirby merchandise that's out, I think, something like that. Where uh, it's um, Kirby Sweet Dreams, where like <laughs> all of the artwork on the merch is Kirby doing things to get ready for bed. This is of him in his bathtub. more anime towels and they'll get on to us 
stuff that's like not anime handouts or whatever. I told you I bought a lot, but this one I found somewhere in Tokyo, some mall. And it is. This next one, this is also Studio Ghibli. I ended up going 
going to a lot of Studio Ghibli stores, in addition to a lot of Pokemon stores, or Pokemon centers, this time. This is kind of like a towel or cloth, but it is definitely, it definitely seems more like something that should be hung up. Um, or I guess the backside feels like a towel, but I will not be using this one as a towel. Let's see if I can get, uh, get this, uh, See up here, we have some soot sprites. Very cute soot sprites. We have the trees and good old no face from Spirited Away. It's so pretty. And then uh, down here, a couple more soot sprites and the flowers. And I thought this was so, so pretty. And I was like, yeah, I just want to get that and hang it up in my room. It's like one of those things that just sort of like the picture just made me happy. I got this on one of my last days and I'm like, I really do not need another towel at this point. But I don't care, I've gone so far. So at this point, you know, might as well just like, why stop now? It was too pretty not to get. <laughs> and I do not we made it. <laughs> I think we still have like close to 10 towels to go though, so I hope you are enjoying the fabric sound <laughs> and my awkward first video I'm filming after being back. This next set of, t set of towels is, um, they're sort of, they're towels I got because I thought were cute, but also sort of representative of just different places that I visited. This one I actually didn't buy. I got this. Um, it was given um, by the Ryokan. Uh, I stayed at a Ryokan a bit close to uh, Kyoto. I forgot exactly where the Ryokan was, but it was like, I don't know, like somewhere between one and two hours um, outside of Tokyo, or outside of Kyoto. Sumia is what this says. It was the Sumia Ryokan, which was a very nice Ryokan. I was shocked at how nice it was. Um, I only stayed there one night because it was super expensive, but it was worth it. <laughs> very worth it. But yeah, got this nice towel, which is super soft as well. Um, very simple. If you ever visit Japan, highly recommend finding, like, like doing research on Ryokans and if you splurge on something while you're in Japan, splurge on the Ryokan, because it'll be worth it. At least in my experience it was. And 
this uh, next <laughs> next silly little towel. I got this just in Kyoto, I think in Kyoto Station, like in one of the gift shops that are there that just has like cheap junk, cheap crap that I love, but really cute stuff. Of course, you see all kinds of Shiba Inu uh, merchandise in Japan, uh, and I love Shiba Inus. I love a lot of things, especially a lot of Japanese things, <laughs> and um, it just has different Shiba Inus doing different um, traditionally Japanese type activities. And it's actually a really nice soft towel too, one that I think would be good to use, but we go through some of the sheep news on here just to see <laughs> riding the horse dressed in different uh, <laughs> traditionally Japanese type apparel got one over here it looks like he's got <laughs> a weapon of some sort Looking like he's about ready to, to fall asleep on his comfy futon. I miss sleeping on futons on the floor. I know a lot of people, a lot of Westerners, you know, if you you think about like sleeping on the floor, it doesn't sound comfortable, but god, the futons over there are so soft. Again, at least the ones I slept. like a junkie, um, a junkie souvenir shop that I found this, but it was so cute. Like, I really like those junkie souvenir shops. I feel like you can actually find a lot of treasures in them, and this happened to be a treasure. <laughs> and, uh, as you'll see, like I said, it is quite soft. In addition to This is another towel that I would describe as being freaking awesome. Talk about finding treasures in unlikely places. I found this at a Lawson, which is just like a convenience store. Like one night, probably like 10 p.m., I just went in to get like a midnight snack or something as I was walking back to my Airbnb. And stopped in the front where they had some, just again, souvenir type crap for Nara. If I didn't say it, this was in Nara. And I found this awesome Gudetama hand towel of like a deer eating some sort of Gudetama meal. And I was, I had actually been kind of upset up until this point because I, I was shocked that I've had I was shocked. I'm like so upset about it that I can't speak. I was shocked at how little Gudetama merchandise I had found since being in Japan. And, um, this is like one of the coolest Gudetama things I feel like I could have found. Like, this fact that it's like specific to Nara too and so funny. <laughs> As you can see here, the embroidery. We got Gudetama. I assume he's like. If you've been to Nara, you know, you can buy these little, really like, deer cookies or crackers or whatever that you can feed the deer with, and that's what it looks like he's laying on here, like, laying on, laying between some, uh, Nara deer crackers. It says Nara right there, too, with some deers between it. But this is just the funniest thing, and again, it's in a Lawson convenience store, um, that's one of the things that I love about just looking in, you know, looking through junk, things you would think is just junk, um, that wouldn't really have 
any, you know, special meaning, you know, stuff that's made just to sell the tourists or whatever, like, I guess that's what you could call this, but it was so special to me when I found it, I was so excited, um, just so funny and so cute, uh, it was one of those, like, really serendipitous sort of finds, um, it's like, it was just what I was looking for. That I didn't know I was looking, but I didn't know I was looking for it. So uh, that is another piece of advice if you go to Japan, especially if you're into like the cutesy Japanese characters, anime and whatnot. Probably, I'm sure it applies to more things, but I found it especially like in appealing to my inner weeb otaku um, cute crap collection that, excuse me, I just throw burped, sorry about that, um, but I found that it's just like, I just didn't pass up any crap store, <laughs> any souvenir store, or, you know, there's so many cool shops in Japan, and, uh, you never know what you might find, you know, even just like a convenience store that you see anywhere, everywhere can have a treasure. Here we have some more of the deer cookies. Give you a nice quick brush with that one. This one is actually made out of really nice material too. Again, maybe uh Maybe, uh, shouldn't be calling it junk after all. <laughs> okay. Alright, so this one was kind of a disappointment. I think maybe a mistake. I think it's a dish towel, is what the tag ended up saying. <laughs> but I was in Hiroshima. I think I might have been in the train station, like in one of the shops in the train station, but uh, they had some towels laying out, like some like sample towels. Everything you could buy was in plastic wrap, but like I felt a sample towel, and it was so soft. I have some bamboo washcloths, which are like the softest material that I've ever felt <laughs> for towels, and it felt like that. So I was like, oh. This is really, really nice. And it had this cute, um, cute deer and maple leaf embroidered on it, which I loved. So I got, it was sitting right next to the sample towel. This one was in a plastic wrap. And then I opened it up, like, when I got home, and it's so hard and so rough. I mean, it makes listen to that, it makes great ASMR sounds. <laughs> but I think it's definitely not something I want to put on my face. <laughs> and, um, like I said, I think it's a dish towel. The tag said it's supposed to get softer with each use, but I can't imagine this getting soft enough to feel like it's made out of bamboo. <laughs> so, this was kind of a letdown, but again, Hopefully we're getting some good ASMR noises out of it. Hopefully. And I guess I can, you know, use it to do my dishes, if nothing else. Anywho, on to the final round of towels. You watched my channel, you know that I love Disney. I even got a Disney shirt on right now. You can see <laughs> it's Mickey Mouse in a safari outfit. <laughs> but these are all towels that I got while at Tokyo Disneyland. And they are very, very adorable. So uh, if you are also a Disney fan, there's a good chance you know that the 40th anniversary 
celebration for Tokyo Disneyland just kicked off in April. I made sure my trip, for my trip, that I would be there after the celebration started because there was no way I was going to miss that. <laughs> but um, I got this fun towel. That's all for the 40th celebration with Mickey and Minnie. The theme of the celebration is dream go round, as you can see. And I've got all these fabulous rainbow colors. This is a really nice towel, too, that has very nice material, or made of very nice material. I'll show you right now. Let's give you some nice strokes. If you happen to be someone planning a trip to Japan in the next year, whether you are a fan of Disney or not, whether you plan to go to Tokyo Disneyland or not, I highly recommend it right now because the 40th anniversary was really fun. Um, all the merch was super cute. <laughs> um, but also, like, the parade thing. And just the different shows they have for the 40th. There's a lot of really cool stuff there at the moment, so I highly recommend it. But everyone knows Tokyo Disneyland's the best Disneyland. Anyway. Story 4. There had actually been another character I love from Toy Story is Ham, and there had been a towel quite similar to this with Ham on it that I was kind of looking at. I was going back and forth on if I wanted it or not, and when I finally decided to get it, the shop I was at also happened to have this ducky and bunny towel right next to the Ham towel, and I was like, that's the one that I need instead. I love ham so much, but god, I love Ducky and Bunny. Oh, Key and Peel. <laughs> Key and Peel are like the reason that I enjoyed Toy Story 4. <laughs> they did so fabulous with Ducky and Bunny and doing the voices. And the plush rush scene never gets old.
a really nice towel, like really nice material again, but it's so cute. Like I bought it with the intention just to hang it up on my wall. And um, you can see here, it is a towel <laughs> featuring the plate down. Oysters from Alice in Wonderland, <laughs> which are so so cute. I absolutely love them. They really like them in uh, Tokyo Disneyland, where they have a lot of merch of them. Um, I actually feel like I missed out on some of the merch, maybe. Um, like I saw some people walking around. They had little purses of the baby oysters that I wasn't able to find anywhere. So I'm like, ah, oh, I must have just missed that. But I definitely got what I did find that was left there. It was so cute. I just, yeah, I absolutely, absolutely adore them. Of course here, I guess uh, in Japan it translates better to young oysters as opposed to baby oysters. I'm fairly certain it's baby oysters in the English version of Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, this was one of those uh, things that I saw, and as soon as I saw it, I'm like, that's mine. <laughs> no question about it. But yeah, I just want to hang it up, because I think it's super cute. <sighs> Even though it is quite a nice towel. risking getting those cute, adorable little faces dirtied with anything. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I hope this video wasn't too silly or uh, awkward <laughs> or anything. Uh, it's been so quiet around here too, and of course when I sit down to film, it's when a bunch of loud cars start going off outside. My neighbor starts cackling with someone she invited over, so I hope there's not too many guts in here either, but thank you for joining me. I'll be making some more um, videos based on my travels in Japan. They'll be better than this one, I promise. <laughs> and also, I will be posting some of my other uh, regular 